Haunting Hollywood Steph, tell us how you and Jimmy Jam met. Through comedy. Through comedy we met. I and you know what? Um just quickly, uh uh, Jimmy was doing stand-up and I was doing sketch comedy and I worked at Acme and the Groundlings and I had a blast doing it. And so, you know, like everybody in comedy, you'd hang out at certain bars or you'd meet, you know, whatever. But I actually, I would see Jimmy perform around town and he saw me perform around town and I was kind of, I was intimidated and I had a crush on him and I did not talk to him for three years. We even had an acting class together. We did a show together and I was just nervous around him. And then um, years later, three years later, uh, we were at House of Blues. It's no longer here in, on Sunset Boulevard. They took it down. We were at the House of Blues, and um, he asked me out that night. Oh, nah. That's, that's when the magic began. Zeb Applejack, love you, Jimmy. Love you, Steph. Zeb Applejack, right back at you. I always tell Jimmy, you know, because right now he's chatting with uh, Malcolm and they're covering, they're, they're reviewing the stories and talking about if there's anything that they want to, you know, redo or did they cover it and what's the story's title's going to be before they drop them on YouTube. And so a lot of times he doesn't get to read all these fantastic comments and all the love that's coming his way. Thanks for sharing how you two met. How did he propose? Wow. I was not expecting that question. Well, I'm not going to get emotional about it. <laughs> but in 2006, Jimmy was diagnosed with a rare bone disease. And it was really hard. It was a real tough experience and so we certainly have a, a deep understanding of medical system and how important it is to have health care and how to see the right doctor and if you can afford it or not and that and so Jimmy was really struggling and really suffering and um, uh, during that time I remember one night we were walking our dog and he proposed and it was I crazy about him and at the same time it was so hard to see the person that I loved so deeply trying to live trying to survive and at the same time trying to make his living on the road doing comedy and um, as a matter of fact he was doing the Bob and Tom tour I'm sure some of you are familiar with Bob and Tom show and he was doing the Bob and Tom tour and he could barely walk I mean the, um, what he went through before he was finally diagnosed well, he could have died one of the things that happens when you have this rare bone disease um, uh, what is it called Os phosphatemic osteomalacia you could eventually just lapse into a coma in the meantime he was just he comedy was comedy was actually what was saving him um because it, he recorded from a bob and tom tour he took his camera upstairs had uh, tipped a security guard to make sure the camera would record his 20 minute set he got that 20 minute set. He got it to Comedy Central. They were watching it. Within 10 minutes of starting to watch the video, they called his manager at the time. They said, we love this guy. And they, they gave him that special. And that was Citizen Jimmy. And so if you want to check out Citizen Jimmy, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's really a triumph that this guy who was dying records himself doing a Bob and Tom tour and Comedy Central goes ahead, green lights his, his special, and um, Jimmy has shared his story on Joe Rogan that Jimmy had contemplated suicide during this time. I didn't know about it. I didn't know about it. And, um, and then, um, voila, we were eventually married. So um, what? You're married? I know. It's a surprise to me still. All right, it's still a surprise. I can't believe Haunting Hollywood you asked that question. My God. Haunting Hollywood, best two bucks I ever spent asking Steph how she and Jimmy met. 
and how he proposed. Thanks so much for sharing Haunting Hollywood. Oh, Haunting Hollywood. I got some comments about that. People DM'd me about that story. Jimmy said I, I should punch it up with jokes. I think he's right. Does Bra Brownie have an origin story? <laughs> Um, we got him from the Pasadena Humane Society, and I gotta tell you, it was the cutest thing. It was so cute. Um, uh, the story with with Brownie, I liked it. Um, we saw him like on the website, and we went to meet him, and they brought him out, and he snuggled right up to Jimmy, and uh, we grabbed him. You know, we took him home, and they made us wait a couple days, which is hard. That's really hard. And then he came home when he was. He was so skinny and we thought he was so cute. He was starving. He was really, you know, we thought he was naturally that skinny, but it turns out he's a very picky eater. I don't know how he survived. I don't know how he survived. Haunting Hollywood, thank you for that question earlier. Do